What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. Today's video is going to be about baby daddies. Let me tell you guys something about baby daddies, okay? Truth of it is, they have rights to the pussy for a long, long time. And the truth of it is, they get that booty for a long time. Way longer than they should. Way down the road, she might finally cut him off. After years of not paying child support, being in and out of jail, not showing up for birthdays, not showing up for Christmases, being an abuser, not taking the kids on the weekend when he's supposed to. After years of being a deadbeat, she might finally cut him off. But more times than not, that baby daddy always has rights to the booty, okay? Let me tell you guys something. She got pregnant by this guy because she likes this guy, all right? It wasn't an accident. She's had multiple sexual partners. How come this one guy got her pregnant? She was trying to tie him down. Maybe she felt him getting distant. She couldn't get his attention. He was off dating other women. He wasn't answering his phone. And she thought in her female genius head, I'm going to get pregnant. I'm going to have a kid and he will be mine. He will settle down and be with me. That's what she was thinking. It was either that or she did it for financial reasons because he makes good money or she just decided, you know, to get on public assistance with the kid. But chances are she really liked this guy. And I've made videos and I've talked about this subject before. And let me tell you guys something right now. I'm shooting from the hip here, okay? No notes, no script, no editing. I'm telling you guys a story about what happened to me, the great Luke Powell, something that I went through and then it clicked in my head when I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it happened to me in the past and I wanted to make a video for some of you younger subscribers out there, guys in your 20s, guys in your early 30s. I'm telling you right now, the baby daddy is still getting the booty that you're supporting, 100%. You're just the ATM machine, okay? He's still getting it. So let me tell you what happened. She felt him getting distant or she really liked this guy. So she gets pregnant. Now, she didn't get pregnant with the other 10, 12, 15, 20 guys that she had been with. She got pregnant with this guy. Well, guess what? It backfired and it didn't work. So instead of just cutting her losses and going to find a good guy, a responsible guy, She's probably going to do that for financial support, but she's still going to be hanging on to that hope that they can be a family, that she can be with this deadbeat dad, okay? That she can get that baby daddy back and her, the kid, and the baby daddy can be a family. She's still clinging to that hope. I promise you she is. Therefore, she will give up the booty whenever she can to him. She might talk bad about him. He might be an abuser. He might not pay the bills. But every chance he gets, he'll have her in the mop closet, in the cheap hotel, or when you're out working, he'll be over there at the house. She'll be over there at his house dropping off the kid. I'm telling you guys right now, I know what I'm talking about. Now, a lot of girls take it a step further. They don't cut the baby daddy off and they'll make a second mistake by getting pregnant again. And that's why a DNA test is always important. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm not generalizing here and I'm not knocking all women, but I'm telling you right now, for the most part, my experience, the baby daddy has always had rights to the booty. Okay? Let me tell you what happened to me and how I figured this out. It's been some years ago. I was dating a beautiful girl. She had a daughter. And the dad was pretty much non-existent. I had dated her before this guy had. And then he came in the picture. He was a taller guy, a younger guy, a better looking guy. He had that mouthpiece. He made her wet. She liked him. So what'd she do? She took off with him. She pretty much broke it off with me. Which that was fine because I was seeing other girls anyway. Let me tell you what happened and how I figured this out. So she gets pregnant. Well, now all of a sudden, the young, tall, skinny guy is not going to the parenting classes. He's not helping out with the medical bills. When she had the kid, he's not helping out with diapers, 
child support, milk, none of that stuff, okay? Not buying the Gerber. So at this point in time, she begins to drift back to me. Why? Because I'm semi-financially stable. I'm an older guy. I can spend some money on her. I can provide that security. So bam, me and her are going out. We're having a great time. Things are just fine and dandy. So the little girl's birthday party comes up, okay? One-year-old birthday party. Now, a party for a one-year-old, there's not a lot you can do, but it's just a family thing, and she wanted it to be nice and take some pictures and things like that. So guess who ends up paying for the birthday party? Me, yours truly. When we got a cake and some ice cream and some balloons and just a few things like that, right? Now, I was not able to attend this birthday party, but I paid for it. Well, here's what ended up happening. A day or two after the birthday party, I'm up here in North Dakota working in the oil patch. She's way down south. She hits me up and she goes, hey, I have a question for you. And I go, yeah, sure, what's up? She said, would it bother you if I posted a photograph of me, my daughter, and my ex on my Facebook page? A photograph that we took at the birthday party. And I said, no, it wouldn't bother me at all. And I played it cool. Because after all, I'm just smashing and dashing, right? I'm just hitting and quitting. She's still 10 years younger than me, banging hot. Probably closer to 15 years younger than me, banging hot, right? But he was still getting that. So I didn't say anything, and I waited about a year later. And then I said, um, it was time for the second birthday party. Of course, here I am paying for it again. It's only about a hundred bucks, but you know, that's the cost of doing business boys. Remember pussy's never free. I don't care if you buy it off the side of the street, you got a friends with benefits situation, or you got a girlfriend man always pays. All right. So then the second time she goes, Hey, can you pay for this birthday party? And I go, yeah, sure. No problem. I go, Hey, I go, I want you to do me a favor though. And she goes, yeah, what's that? I said, I want you to send me a photograph of you, your daughter, and your ex. All three of you guys, I want in the photograph, just like you did last year. And she looked at me deer in the headlights, and she knew she was caught. And she just stared at me for a minute. She goes, well, that was last year, and things change. She's right. But here's the point, guys. He was still getting it a year later. A year after being a deadbeat, he still had rights to the booty, okay? A year after being a deadbeat, this dude still had rights to the booty. I was the ATM machine, all right? Happens. Telling you guys right now, and I've been thinking about this with other situations that I've seen. Some of the girls that I do videos with here, um, whether they're friends of mine from Takate, whether they're prostitutes that I know, People that I do videos with, I see these girls, just about all of them have kids, deadbeat dads, and these baby daddies, without exception, had rights to the booty way longer than they were supposed to. Some of them, truth be known, probably still getting it. But without exception, after she got pregnant, when that did not work, when tying that man down did not work, having that family and controlling him, when that did not work, guess what she did? She kept giving it up. She kept giving it up. And she kept giving it up. Trying harder, harder, and harder to possess him, to win. And that's just a fact of life. So I can tell you guys right now, there's a 90% chance and don't say, oh no, not me. No, it's okay. Go ahead and admit it. Here's the deal. If you're dating a single mom and the baby daddy is around at all, he still has rights to the booty, okay? But remember, boys, it's okay to share. You don't own that real estate. It's not yours, okay? It's not yours. It's just your turn. Smash that like and subscribe button, boys. We'll see you down the road.